How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. No silly intro today because I've just done one for the other video which was released today, so ha, sorry. This month is a bit of a weird month, we're getting information in random places earlier than usual and a bit mixed up. But um, you may have seen, I've just done a video today about the Eliminator uh, Battle Royale thing, all the information you need to know. And now we actually have information about all of the new cars coming to Forza Horizon 4 as well, this update 17. I believe there's eight of them, which is pretty good for an update. So to put it short in today's video, I'm going to show you what all of the eight new cars are in update 17, when you can get them and how you can get them and what they are and how you can get them and when they're coming. Oh, yeah. Honestly, let's just jump straight into it. So we know that update 17 is sort of technically half released. Some of the features are releasing tomorrow on Thursday, like the Eliminator, but all of these cars, or most of these cars, aren't gonna be available till next week, which is next Thursday when the season starts. First new car is the Toyota Supra, which is releasing tomorrow, December the 12th. The Toyota Supra can be gotten through the Eliminator game mode by playing one match. Whether you win or lose, you'll unlock the Toyota Supra for free. Or you can buy the Supra from the Auto Show for 220,000 credits, I think. 1,200 horsepower you can put in the Supra. It's pretty cool. And it's got a new sound, thankfully. So that's one of the first new cars come in. The next one is the Alpine A110. This is one of the other new cars. This isn't available till next week, presumably through the festival playlist at 50% series completion. Now that's a bit of a job. Usually you have to get 50% in a season, not the whole series. So you're gonna have to do a lot of work for that Alpine, but that's the second new car coming next week. December the 19th, by the way, this new season starts. The second one, now the, actually the interesting thing about these is quite a lot of these cars, or quite a few of them, are off the leaked car list. So this again also backs up the leaked car list that I did a video on a few days ago. If you don't know, a bunch of leaked cars were leaked from the game files, um, over 120 of them actually, and I covered every single one in a video a few days ago. Quite a few of these cars are from that list, so that backs it up. But anyway, the third new car is the 2003 Renault Clio V6. There's a lot of Renaults in this update. This you can get through Autumn in an exclusive event type of championship type thing. The fourth new car is the Renault Megane RS from 2018. You can get this in the winter season, which is a few weeks away, for getting that to 50%. Very simple, that's usually how you get a new car. Now the next new one is a, another Renault, which is a Renault Clio 2016, so a newer one. This is unlocked also in winter, but through an exclusive event instead of, you know, through a championship. You know what I mean, I'll hopefully have a screenshot on screen right now of, you know, where to get it. But I believe winter is the third week, so you're going to have to wait another three weeks from now before you have a chance of getting these, but at least we know what they are. The next one is another Renault Clio, but another little bit of an older one, Renault Clio 197. This can be unlocked in autumn, so a week before winter, um, through the trial. Now, not many people like cars being stuck behind the trial, but Renault Clio available then through the trial if you win it. Good luck. Now, you'll never guess what the next one is. It's a Peugeot. I'm joking, it's a Renault. Another new car is a Renault Megane R26R. Now, they quote this as the GT2 RS of Renaults. It's the beast of all Renaults, which is pretty cool to see. Now, this one isn't in any of the seasons. This is actually through the Eliminator. Now, you may have seen my other video on the Eliminator. You kind of rank up your tiers, similar to like ranking up the speed zones. It's the same kind of thing, but when you get to Eliminator, tier 10 you'll unlock this Renault Megane for free so as long as you're playing a lot of the Eliminator you'll unlock the Renault similar to the Supra that was unlocked at Eliminator tier 2 basically after one game now sort of a newish car I wouldn't say it's new but I've, I've not included it in this list but I'm going to mention it anyway the Porsche 911 GT3 RS pre-order edition is also in the Eliminator at tier 20 so that's another exclusive car you can get through the Eliminator sort of new from tier 20 so you're gonna have to play it a lot for that one and the last new car from this series is as predicted as i guess the mercury cougar tier 24 on the eliminator so you're gonna need to almost max out your eliminator level um to get this mercury cougar but the good thing about that the good thing about the Renault megan r26r as well although they're in the eliminator 
um, you have to rank up the tiers, we're getting the Eliminated tomorrow. So technically, some of these cars you'll be able to unlock as early as tomorrow, which is cool. The other ones like the Renault Clio 2016 and the Renault Clio 197 and the Renault Megane RS 2018 and the Renault Clio V6 2003. <laughs> Those you can't unlock for a couple more weeks until we get to that season, winter and autumn specifically. I think I'm right by saying in summer and spring, there aren't actually any new cars, which is pretty boring. So phew, it's been a mental day. Nine cars on this list, five of them I can't count. Six of them are through, no, five of them. Five of them are through the new season that's coming out next week, and four of them are through the Eliminator. So if you do, if you want to know more about the Eliminator, by the way, the Battle Royale, there's another video on my channel right now that tells you everything you need to know, how it works and stuff like that. So make sure to check that out. Now, a bit of information, tomorrow is Thursday. I might do a live stream, live streaming the Supra's release. I don't know, there'll be a video on it, I'm sure anyway. But on Friday, we get the official Update 17 stream where we'll find out probably more about these cars and maybe more features. So you can expect another video on Friday about the full thing of Update 17. I hope I've been helpful for you all today. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later. <laughs>